Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, we'll be setting up Free Sky stabilized receivers for a flying wing or Elevon setup. Okay, so this is quite an interesting one because I thought, yeah, this is going to be really straightforward. But I had a question come through to me about setting up one of these things for a wing. It's something I've never done. I've always put them in traditional planes. But I figured, yeah, it's, it's got to be really straightforward. Just set up an Elevon mixer and then set this to flying wing and you should be good to go. But it appears that that's not actually the case. I checked the instruction manual and there was really nothing in there. And then I thought, well, I'll see if anyone else has done a video on YouTube. And I found one video about setting up a flying wing. And all that was about was the Windows application and how to switch that over to using an Elevon setup. Nothing really more than that. So what we're going to do is actually go through the process because you don't actually use an Elevon mixer. So that's the first thing. So let's head over to the desk and we'll get started. Okay, so this little thing everyone knows and seems to love. Um, I've had a few questions about it. I actually drew this out and built it myself. So it's not something that you can get hold of. Um, but yeah, it is really useful for showing stuff on the bench in like a small scale. So it's easy to show everything. So I don't have one of these for a flying wing, but what I'm going to do is just use the two ailerons here. I'm also just going to use this SR10 Pro, but the procedure is the same on an older sort of S6, S8R, and it's the same on the SR6 and SR8. So it's all going to apply the same way. Right, so the setup, I'm, as I said, I'm going to use the ailerons. The important thing about this setup is that the left hand side goes into channel one, which is the aileron. The right hand side goes into channel two. So I'll just find my left aileron, which is here. Put that in channel one. And the right aileron, which is actually in my hand already, into channel two. So there we go, left and right. That's all set up. The only other thing I'll plug in is my Beck, so that I can power this thing. It does say on the Free Sky documentation and everywhere else that the pins always go to the back. There are a few people saying that you can just reverse the stabilization, but I did find that it does mess it about with the wing setup. So make sure you do have your pins to the back for an Elevon setup. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is obviously power on our transmitter and we're gonna create a new model Welcome for this. So I turn the sound off. So I'm going to go into the model menu, model select, and I'll go to my demo folder and you can see I've got one there, stabilized wing test. I'm just going to create a new one. So the first thing that we're going to do is just select an aeroplane and we just need to now choose how many motors we've got. Most of the time it's just going to be one, so we'll choose that. Next up, we're going to choose our aileron. So we want one aileron and we're obviously using an Elevon setup, so there's a very high chance we have no flaps, unless this is something like a Boomer, where we could potentially have flaps. But for most flying wings, there will be no flaps, so let's go. Now, this is where it gets different. We would normally, for a flying wing, choose none for the tail. So that would set up our aileron and elevator in an Elevon configuration, but, in this case, we actually want to keep it as a traditional tail. Apologies for the lack of synchronization between my hands and the voice. I had to re-record this, but yeah, just stick to a traditional tail. Keep elevators on one channel, but we're going to turn our rudders to no rudders. Um, and that will just get us exactly what we want. So next we can add a name. And we may as well add a picture to finish the job off. There we go, C1 Chaser, a nice flying wing. So next, and we're done. So if we check out the mixer, we've actually got our ailerons on channel one, elevator on channel two, and throttle on channel three. And of course, we wanna make sure that this matches up to AETR for these receivers. So A for aileron on channel one, E for elevator on channel two, and T for throttle on channel three. Of course, we don't need to worry about the R for rudder. So that's all good. What I'm going to do quickly now is just bind up this uh, receiver. Okay, so 
we've just got our uh, fresh receiver here. So if I do the pitch, you'll notice it's just moving this one aileron here or elevon. And if we do the roll, it's just moving this one. That's absolutely fine at the moment. We don't need to worry about that. So what I'm going to do quickly is set up the switch for the stabilize functions. Uh, I won't cover how to do that um, because it's exactly the same as my other video. So I'll put a link up in the top corner so you can check that out for how to set the stabilize functions up. But all I'm going to do is add a switch so we can see the self leveling working. Okay, so now what you should be able to see is moving that on the roll, we have the left aileron or elevon working on the pitch, it is the right elevon. So I can also switch that off so that self-leveling is not working. Of course, uh, when you do yours, set up the gain and the self-check as well. So what we're gonna do now is actually go in to configure the uh, SR10 Pro. So let's head into device configuration and go to the SXR. And the first one is the wing type. Now, what we need to do is change this to Delta um, flying wing, which is the Elevon setup that we want. And as soon as we click this, we will actually see that both surfaces are now working correctly. So what I can see is pulling back that is going up, which is correct. Pushing down, it's nosing down, but the roll is reversed. So what I'm gonna do is just back out and we'll go to our outputs and go to ailerons and invert the ailerons. So now that one's going up, that one's going down and the pitch is still correct. So let's have a look at the stabilization. So to make it easier, let's rest that on here. Well, I say make it easier, it will demonstrate easier. Right, so if we nose up, we want to push the nose back down. So both of these are going down, which is the correct direction. So our stabilization is working, nose down. These are both coming up, which is the same as pulling up. So that's all good. If we roll over towards the left, we want to roll back this way which means this one needs to come up, which is exactly what's working. So everything there is absolutely fine. The other thing I should just mention quickly is just keep the quick mode on again. It's easier to set up because you just have to do the one switch on channel 10 for the modes, but also a wing can't hover or knife edge. So there's absolutely no point in not having it on quick mode anyway. So there you go, there's finally a video out there for how to set up a flying wing or Elevon setup on a stabilized free sky receiver. I hope this video was useful and helpful. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and bell icon, and then you'll get more content like this. Also, it helps get this video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too, which at the end of the day is why we would sort of do this, to share the knowledge and help people out. So thank you very much for watching guys. Fly your models like you stole them. See you on the next one.